A working steam engine has been described as a living thing. The sight and sound of it, the way fire, steam, and pressure work through this iron horse, it creates something that's mechanical, but seems to breathe, to move, to work, and to live. Steam engines use just that, steam, to work. But that steam has to be created first for the engine to move down the tracks. The firing procedure for a steam locomotive begins with the engineer and the fireman checking the water level in the boiler and around the firebox. Then the fireman does the hard work, shoveling coal into the firebox to start and maintain that fire. The boiler has a grate in it, and on the grate, the coal burns, and all the hot gases and smoke go through the tubes into the smoke box. Those tubes in the smoke box are surrounded by water, so all the heat moving through those tubes is captured by the water. The steam is produced in the boiler. It comes out into the smoke box and goes into the steam chest. In the steam chest, you have valves, and they regulate the amount of steam to the cylinders. The cylinders, when steam is emitted to the front of the piston, it's pushed back, and that's connected to the main driving wheel. At the end of that stroke, the wheel has moved 180 degrees. The steam is then emitted to the rear of the cylinder and pushes the piston forward, causing the wheel to complete its 360 degree rotation. That's a full two strokes from one cylinder. And the train is rolling down the tracks. This process repeats over and over again, with more coal added to the box to keep the fire burning, keeping continual pressure and keeping the engine moving. The used steam is released through the stack and this living, breathing, mechanical beast, the iron horse, is rolling. 